What's up, crypto fam? This video, we are gonna do an update on my Dogecoin miners. Because if you haven't seen my videos before, I bought a couple of those Gold Shell Mini Doge Dogecoin miners. And I got these, I don't know, about three or four months ago or so. So I've been mining Dogecoin for, you know, about three or four months. And I think it's pretty cool, helping out, you know, helping out on the Doge transactions and all that. And in exchange for doing that, I get paid in Doge. But the thing is, when I bought these miners, the, the price of Dogecoin, it was fluctuating between about 25 cents and about 35 cents, thereabouts. So it was, it was running pretty good. But the thing is, Dogecoin is down right now, and it's been down for a little while. So Dogecoin right now is making this video is under 20 cents. So I was starting to think, dude, at, once, at what point do, does it not make sense to mine Dogecoin? In other words, how much are these Dogecoin miners really costing me in electricity? So I want to know, where is my break-even point? Now I'm running two miners and I looked at um, ASIC miner value where they give kind of the, uh, you know, the numbers on, um, on how much, what the expenses are. But you know, I wasn't so sure that this was 100% accurate. And you know, being a little bit, a little bit of a nerdy guy myself, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna figure out how much these things are sucking in electricity figure out what my electric bill is running on these things, and I wanna see where my break even point is. So that's what we're doing in this video. But if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name's Ray, I like to buy stocks and crypto here on YouTube. And if you're a returning subscriber, dude, I'm glad you came back. So tell you what, let's just get started. So here's what we need to know, we need to know what my electricity rate is, right? And we need to know how much these Dogecoin miners are drawing. So I tell you, I pulled out my electric bill right here. So my electric rate is 16.755 cents uh, per kilowatt hour. So we're gonna round that up to 16.8 cents. So the next question is, how much power are these Dogecoin miners sucking off my network? I tell you what, let's go check them out and let's go do a measurement. So here's my setup. Now, if I knew you were coming, I'd clean up a little bit more, but eh, I probably wouldn't. <laughs> tell you what, so I've got two uh, Gold Shell Mini Doge Miners. So here they are. I'll put up a picture to show you what they kind of look like when they're not just stacked up here and thrown in the corner. But basically these have, uh, each one has two fans and it has a special uh, circuit in there. So it comes with a PCB board basically. And basically it's got a plug where you plug in an ethernet cable and you plug in the power supply. Now I have one power supply running two Doge miners. So uh, again, these are dedicated miners. They mine both Litecoin and Dogecoin. So they're actually called um, ASIC miners, which means, which is application specific integrated circuit. But again, that just means that it's got a PCB board and a fan and it just mines Dogecoin and Litecoin. So Basically, to set these things up, you can check, I've got some videos on it, but basically you just plug these things in, put them on your network, and they just start mining Dogecoin and Litecoin right away. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna check the power, see how much power these things are drawing, because when I bought them, I saw a number, um, but then I was thinking, you know, Dogecoin's kinda going down, so I wanna see, I'll do a measurement, see what it really does draw. So what I'm using is called a kilowatt. So if you don't have one of these or have never seen one of these, dude, these things are pretty cool. So the kilowatt, basically it allows you to um, do things like measure what your power consumption is. So it's pretty cool if you use these things, like to see what kind of power draw maybe your TV is getting or, or you know, something like that. Um, and it's kind of good to check with the power draw when things are on and when they're off because things actually run, you know, when they're on standby and you'd be surprised how much power they draw. So anyway, so I've got this, so I've been around the house doing a lot of that stuff, right? So this is my kilowatt. So right now it's set on, um, this is the voltage. So basically it's 116.5 volts, which means it's, you know, 120 volt, right? So anyway, if you cycle through this thing, PF, I don't know what that is, Hertz. So it's 60 Hertz, right? And it says the, um, let's go to Watts. So we're looking at Watts here, right? So uh, 517 watts is what my power supply is drawing. So again, my power supply is powering two of the um, two of the Doge miners. So actually, this thing is pretty cool. Let me show you something else with this thing. So you can see it says that uh, the cost is 80 cents. So that's what it's run. That's what it's basically charged today. Now you can program these things a little bit different. So. Uh, with my electric bill, my electric bill is uh, 16.8 cents uh, per kilowatt hour. So you can plug, uh, you can program that in to make your calculations, right? So I programmed mine in there. So you can see if we hit this again, 
I basically cost 80 cents since I put it on, but check this out. So 80 cents since it's been running, uh, it's running eight cents per hour. I can switch it to a day. So it says it costs uh, $2.08 a day, $14.62 a week, $62.65 a month, and $762 a year. Isn't that cool? So you basically you just plug the thing in and then you put in your electric rate and it does all the calculations for you. It's pretty cool. So this is a kilowatt. And as you can tell you, they have other brands, but this is kind of the one to get. Um, so if you're interested in one of these, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna put a link in the description below if you're interested in these, because like I said, I think they're pretty cool. So again, uh, to make a short story long, <laughs> we're basically, it's costing $2.08 uh, a day to run both of these things. But we are going to actually run through some calculations because we're gonna we're gonna do some more calculating. So let's get back to the studio and uh, keep moving on. So those are my Dogecoin miners. So I got two of them. So we could go through and do the calculations to figure out how much these things cost per day, or you can just read the meter, right? <laughs> the meter says two dollars and eight cents a day. Okay, so now that we know that we're spending $2.08 on electricity per day, now I need to find out how much per each of the token I need to break even, right? So first thing we need to do is we need to figure out how many we're actually mining per day. Then what we're gonna do is figure out what the cost of each one is to make sure we are hitting that $2.08 per day. So I tell you what, let's go right to my mining pool. Now, if you're not familiar with Dogecoin mining, the idea is, um, so we're running these Dogecoin miners. I've got them on my network. These things communicate with a mining pool. Now the mining pool is kind of what pays me, right? So I get basically the transaction problems from the mining pool. I solve the problems for them or help run the transactions that goes back to the mining pool. And then, you know, I get paid for it basically. So I get daily reports on how much I'm actually mining. So here's my mining pool. And again, these, these gold shell mini doge miners actually mine Litecoin and they mine Dogecoin at the same time because they're both running on the script algorithm. So basically a Dogecoin miner, I think it's actually on the Litecoin system, but whatever. So anyway, that's another video for another day, probably with another YouTuber. But I'll tell you what, here's my mining pool. So here's what I'm mining per day. So here are my Litecoin revenue records. So you can see each day I'm getting about, you know, you can see over the last 10 days here, I'm getting 0 0.0079, 0 0.0076, 0 0.0078, 0 0.0078. So what I did is I took a look at these and what I did is I kind of get, figure out what my average is here. Um, so I am using a calculation that I'm making 0 0.0078 Litecoin per day. So I think that's pretty fair. Now let's go to Dogecoin. So here are my Dogecoin revenue records. You can see, see here it's uh, 1397, 1426, 1492, blah, blah, blah. But I tell you what, I went through and I averaged 10 of them together and I calculated that my average Doge is, do, my average Doge day is 14.30 Doge. So what I am running per day on average is 0 0.0078 Litecoin, right? and I'm running 14.30 Dogecoin. That, I'm getting that every day. Now that I know that, I have to figure out how much of each one of these does it take for me to get to $2.08. So first, I tell you what, here's basically the equation. For those of you who slept in math class, right? It's going to be 0 0.0078 times the price of Litecoin, right? Plus 14.30 times the price of Doge, equals two dollars and eight cents so that's the equation that i need to do to see where it is i break even so to make this easy what we're going to do is first we're going to figure out if litecoin were at zero how much doge how much would doge have to be to break even right so we're going to say litecoin equals zero on the first first equation right so litecoin equals zero so now the equation is going to be 14.3 doge times the price of doge equals two dollars and eight cents right and that's gonna tell us uh, the minimum price we need for Doge to break even. And that's if Litecoin equals zero. So what we would do is do our division. So it would be Doge equals 2.08 divided by 14.30, right? And so that equals 0.145. So basically 14.5 uh, cents. So we need Doge to stay at above 14.5 cents if Litecoin were to be zero. Okay, so there's our first point. 
So next what we want to do is do our second point. So now what happens if Dogecoin is actually at zero? Heaven forbid. But we all know Dogecoin. Dogecoin always equals one Dogecoin. But anyway, so if Dogecoin were to equal zero, then what we would do is we would take, it would all just be Litecoin, right? So we look at Litecoin, so we would take two dollars and eight cents, right? And we would divide that by 0 0.0078. So that would be, we would need Litecoin to equal $266.67. So I can tell you, as of the making of this video, Dogecoin is actually over 14.5 cents, um, but Litecoin is actually under 200 and $66.66. But since I've cleared 14 and a half cents, I know that I'm actually profitable. But we're gonna figure out just how profitable I am because I don't think it's real profitable today. But before we do that, I'll tell you what, let's do, let's go, let's nerd out on this for a second. Let's do a chart, <laughs> right? So let's do a graph. So let's put uh, Dogecoin on one axis, right? And let's put Litecoin on another axis. So again, to figure out the, um, you know, the profitability, what we would do is we would go back to uh, find our zero point from each one, and then we just draw a line, right, between them. And that would kind of give us uh, a graph of how, of where we are, where we are, and if we're profitable or not. So, tell you what, so we would first go Litecoin equals zero, Doge would equal, uh, we'll do 0.145. So let's do a one, sorry. so let's do a 0.1, a 0.2, and a 0.3, how about that? So these are going to be estimates, right? So we're going to go about in the middle between 0.1 and 0.2. And so then for Litecoin, what we're going to do is we are going to go, uh, let's let's go, we have to do $266.67. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do 100, 200, 300. So I'll tell you what. So we're going to put it there right about the middle. And then we're going to draw a line between the two of them. But you know what? I tell you what, this is a terrible line. Okay. All right, so we're gonna find out as of today whether I'm just wasting my time or whether I'm actually making money today. Uh, I, but I tell you what, before I do that, let me ask you one thing. And that is, if you think you got any value out of this video or I don't know, a little bit of entertainment, I would just simply ask you to give me a like. Dude, your likes really help me a lot to move my content out to others. So if you could give me a like, dude, I really appreciate it. But I tell you what, let's jump right to the calculation. Let's see if I'm just wasting my time. <laughs> All right, here we go. So here we, to find out whether we are profitable or not, we're going to do go back to our equation, right? So we are making 0 0.0078 um, Litecoin. And now let's take a look, see what the price of Litecoin is right now. Right now, the price of Litecoin I've got at 158.12, right? $158.12. Okay, so now for Dogecoin, remember we're, do we're mining 14.3, and I've got the price of Dogecoin at 0.176. All right, so let's put it in our equation, right? So 0 0.0078 times 158.12. Uh, we'll just round that to $1.23, all right? And then on the Dogecoin side, we've got 14.3 Dogecoins at 17.6 uh, uh, cents, so 0.176. So it's gonna we're gonna round that to 250. So we are making three dollars and 73 cents today. And I can tell you it's it's not a good mining day, right? So three dollars and 73 cents. Then the question is, are we profitable? So we take three dollars 73 cents. Minus two dollars and eight cents. Oh, dude, we're making bank. We got dollar sixty-five today. Now I say that a little tongue in cheek. You know, dollar sixty-five is not a whole lot of money. You know, for profit. But number one, it is profit. And number two, I can tell you, I'm not selling my Dogecoin at seventeen cents. Realistically, I'm gonna wait till it's over thirty cents. I think it's gonna go there. And Litecoin, dude, I'm not selling my Litecoin at this rate either. So in reality, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait till it goes a bit higher. And if you want to see when I sell my Doge and when I sell my Litecoin, I tell you what, subscribe to the channel and I will give you some updates on how the Doge mining is going. And with that, I'll tell you what, I'll put up a couple more videos you might want to take a look at, and I will see you in that next video.